Okay, let's go over the anatomy of an instrument. Instruments are designed specifically to help us remove calculus, adapt to teeth, be more comfortable, have better ergonomics, instead of just using the same one everywhere. So when we look at an instrument, of course we know we have the handle, and every brand has a little different pattern here, which is called knurling, but that's the pattern on the handle. And then from the handle to the very tip of the instrument, we have the functional shank. So this is important to know so we know how long it is. Uh, the longer a functional shank, the deeper in the pocket it can go. And then from the bend, from the tip to the first bend, that is our terminal shank. And that's important to know so then we can get uh, that parallel with the tooth or make a 70 degree angle with that terminal shank bend down. And then of course at the end, we have our tip or toe, lateral sides, face, and where the lateral sides and the face come together is the cutting edge. This is important to know because we want that cutting edge touching the tooth. And uh, when we sharpen, we want to know where that lateral side is so we can follow it to make a good cutting edge. So again, every instrument looks a little different. I mean, they all have the same thing. They have from the functional shank, terminal shank, tip or toe, lateral sides, face. They're all there. Grab a Gracie. Like, look at this. This is a Gracie. Look how many more bends it has. But even still, from this first bend down, fun terminal shank, functional shank. So they all have the same design characteristics in theory, but they're all designed to fit in spaces better, to work around different anatomy, root structure, and to just help us as clinicians.